morning Scorpio welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading uh, where in this video we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you this is a general love read if it resonates feel free to show some love towards the channel remember roles can be reversed in today's video and if you feel that your message is not here please check out your other placements or alternatively, you can always just tune back in next time when I upload a new reading for your sign. For today's video, I am breaking out a new tarot deck by Mayerland. Uh, it's a collage tarot deck, so I'm pretty keen to try it out. If you like it, let me know. Um, all right, so we're going to open up by asking Spirit and Tarot, how does this person that Scorpio is connecting to currently how does this person currently feel towards the sign of Scorpio just giving the cards a good shuffle because literally Scorpio this is the first time I am trying out this deck and by the way thank you for clicking on this video and supporting the channel without your support this channel would not be possible so let's let's go all right, Spirit, how does this person feel towards the sign of Scorpio? Okay, so we have five, six, seven. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm still learning the cards. Look at the beautiful imagery here. So it's all collage by beautiful Maya. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look here. So there is someone here, I'm looking at the imagery uh, and I'm straight away really drawn to the smile on this person's face. So it seems like the person that you're connecting to here, Scorpio, is pretty happy, um, is pretty happy to invest into the connection, okay? It seems certain or positive that this person is willing to invest and to continue pouring into your connection okay let's clarify yep the empress the eight of pentacles my word my word eight ace of cups look at this now it could be a new love okay it could be a new love with the ace of cups or it just potentially could be uh, a situation that involves like wiping the slate clean and starting over with the Ace of Cups. So uh, if you're in a situation, uh, Scorpio, where you and this individual have gone through a, a little bit of a hiccup, the Ace of Cups is this person kind of just saying, look, I, I'm, I'm really invested in our relationship. I really like to start over. Let's just wipe the slate clean. Uh, you know, and this is someone kind of just even extending the olive branch if you've been in that situation, okay? There is someone here who, with the Empress energy, who really does value you and really does treasure you in their life. And this is someone who does want to continue nurturing what you guys have together, make no mistake. Now with the Eight of Pentacles, this is the energy of someone, look at this, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, this is someone who is willing to work really hard to maintain what you guys have together, okay? Um, this is someone who is also very focused on restoring the connection or perhaps um, if it's not restoring the connection, then it's showing you that they want to be with you or showing you that um, like you're a priority okay especially if it's if with the ace of cups here especially if this is a new person mm, nice nice Okay, how does Scorpio feel towards this person? <clears throat> how does Scorpio feel towards this person currently? Mm. 
the queen, excuse me, the queen of wands, the queen of wands. This is fire energy and you're a water sign, queen of wands. Okay. Well, you are very attracted to this person. Okay. You're very attracted to this person. Um, okay. Let's clarify Queen of Wands energy. And with the Queen of Wands, you feel inspired, okay? You feel inspired to make this relationship work. You feel ignited by this connection. Maybe this person really lights you up or you feel fairly, um, you feel energized and uplifted by this person. The Queen of Wands, she's, she's an optimistic and empowered queen. Hmm, I'm getting a good feel. Ooh, look at that. Eight of Wands. <laughs> the Queen of Wands coming out twice. The Four of Swords. Okay. Well, the attraction is undeniable on your end. So you do feel attracted to this person. However, you're not going to pursue this person. You're definitely not going to pursue this person because the Four of Swords is like, I'm not going to um, initiate sort of like contact with this person. I'm going to let this person chase me. I'm going to let this person pursue me. I'm going to let this person come to me. If this person has anything to say, um, they know where I am. Okay. They know where I am. They know where I live. They have my number. They can contact me. Um, but there's something very positive about your energy. It's almost like you feel empowered, you feel energized and you feel uplifted. You, you do feel attracted towards this. You, you do feel an attraction though for this person. Um, regardless of the attraction, regardless of maybe the desire that you feel for this person, you're not in a position to chase them. Um, because you know your value and you know your worth. Okay. All right. Beautiful. So what does this person want with you? Okay. What does this person want with Scorpio? I actually really like this deck. Um, okay. So what do we have here? Ah, the nine of pentacles. <laughs> The Nine of Pentacles. So that's pre-Empress energy. Hmm. So you know what I'm getting here, Scorpio? Um, this person wants to impress you. You know, the Nine of Pentacles, like I said, this person is viewing you as the Empress. And this is now pre-Empress vibe. So this person is viewing you as someone who isn't afraid to like stand out and go it alone. Like you're not afraid to show this person that you don't need them or you're not afraid to like reject them because the Queen of Wands, she's very assertive and she, I don't know how else to say it, but you're, like the best way to put it is you're not afraid to reject this person because the Queen of Wands is very confident. She's very empowered. She knows who she is. So if there's something that you've got to say, you're not afraid to say it. Like you won't tiptoe around this individual. And they're, like this person actually finds that quality quite attractive um, because you know what it is that you want and they find that right there very attractive. Okay, 
So with that, they are wanting to impress you here. This is someone who is out to impress you. My God, I feel like I've gone, <laughs> I feel like I've gone the long way about things, but hey, if that's my style, that's my style. All right, let's clarify. The chariot, yeah, the devil, <laughs> the world. My goodness, look at this, three major arcana cards. Um, look, you could be dealing with a Cancerian here with the chariot, but look, this is someone who, this is like the emperor in his chariot who is confidently coming towards you um, with the intentions to impress uh, his or her king or queen, okay? Um, this person really wants to, yeah, make a really good impression on you and really wants to stand out in your eyes, okay? Now, with the devil here, Capricorn energy, this person isn't giving up. There is a relentless energy here. There's almost like an obsessive quality to, how, how do I put this? Like the, the chariot and the devil is like determination to the max. Like this person is like over the top determined to get what he or she wants. Okay, determined to win you over. Yeah, look at this, the world speaks to accomplishment. So this person has a goal, okay, has this vision and is going after it relentlessly. Boom. Right, what does Scorpio want? What does Scorpio want? And even with the world energy here, like this person is out to make you feel like you're the center of this person's world, like figuratively or literally speaking. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Help me out, guys. I feel like literally speaking, this person's going to make you feel like you are the center of their universe, okay? It's because they're out to impress you big time. All right. Uh, Scorpio, what do you want? What do you want from this? Uh, two of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, well, that kind of has me stumped. Two of Pentacles. What does Scorpio want? Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so typically speaking, the Two of Pentacles is kind of like a, it's a juggling act. It's a, it's a wishy-washy energy. However, in this card, I'm specifically looking at this woman who is touching the top pentacle. So it's almost making me feel like you want, you want this person to make you feel like you're a priority. You want to feel like you're the priority. So I feel like that's what you want. Um, how else can I say this in a Two of Pentacles way? Um, it's almost like you want this person to kind of like rearrange their plans or rearrange their life to accommodate you. Hmm. Okay. Can we clarify? The Five of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Justice. <clears throat> hmm.
Okay, the justice makes me feel like this person may have done something to you. Like I said, you might be involved with this person. You may have been involved or you might have been, you might be involved with this person for a long time. They've done something um, or said something uh, that they shouldn't have and you want this person to make it up to you, okay? Yeah, so you feel like this person perhaps um, owes you some kind of an apology here with the justice. Yeah, and especially with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, you want this person to um, extend an offer of an apology. What else am I getting? This is Libra energy also. So Libra to me denotes the, the theme of relationships. So You feel like it's um, it's important that this person attempts to bring your connection into balance, especially if you guys have been in conflict, okay? You feel like it is up to them to try to balance things out between the both of you or diffuse maybe the tension and the conflict between the both of you. Yeah. Okay. What else am I getting here? So for those of you who are dealing with a new person, Um, you don't want this, you want this person to be, you want this person to, you don't, you don't want what I see if it's a new person. Sorry, Scorpio, I'm trying to get this out right. You want this person to be committed or serious about the connection. Um, Whatever they are offering you here, you want it to be something genuine, sincere and solid. Okay, with the Two of Pentacles, what you don't want is something sort of inconsistent or wishy-washy. Okay. You do want a relationship with the Justice card with this person, but you only want this person to come forward if it's something solid and something serious. Okay, if they're if they're real, if they have real intentions here, yeah. I just feel like this five of wands, if, especially if it's a new person here, you don't. What you don't want is someone who is not on the same page as you. Okay, sorry, took a while. What's coming towards you? What's coming towards Scorpio this week? Spirit, what's coming towards Scorpio this week? Ooh, well, well, well. Scorpio, you've got the two of cups, so you've got some love coming your way. You've got some love. You've got the two of cups. Okay. So... You have a soulmate. You have someone coming your way who wants to obviously connect with you, partner up with you. Um, 
Let's clarify the Hanged Man, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, that is coming towards you. Now, the Knight of Pentacles isn't someone who is who is coming towards you fast. Okay, this is this is not someone who is going to be knocking down your door and um, you know sort of pushing their way in. This is not someone who is sort of overstepping your boundaries. This is someone who really does value you and is really invested in making something work. Okay. With the three of pentacles here, this person really wants to build build a relationship. They want to build with you here. This is someone who wants to work with you. This is someone who wants to grow with you. Like I said, if you've been in conflict with this person, this person wants to work it out. This person wants to talk. Okay, they want to come up with some kind of a solution or some kind of a plan. With the hanged man, it would suggest that this person is willing to surrender. Okay, it's like I, I come in peace. You know, I come in peace. I lay down my armor. I don't want to fight with you, Scorpio. Uh, if it's a new person, this is someone with the hanged man. It's all about perspective, you know. So this is someone who can see themselves growing with you here. Three of Pentacles. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who is willing to, you know, invest their pentacle into your relationship. The thing is with the Knight of Pentacles though, this is someone who shows up consistently. This is not someone who just talks and then doesn't back it up with action. No, no, no. This is someone who, whatever they say, they back it up with action. Now, if it's an apology, the Knight of Pentacles is a disciplined knight. So, yeah, you will see that shine through um, their behavior. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Pentacles as advice or last parting messages. Okay. Last parting message. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is kind of like a closed off energy. I will be honest here, Scorpio. Now, this lady here kind of reminds me of Queen Elizabeth. So what I'm getting here is, you know, very queen-like energy. And you opened up with the Queen of Wands. So Scorpio, at the end of the day, you know your value, you know your worth. Um... I feel like it's going to take some time for this person to really impress upon you. Um, I feel like you're going to, it's going to take time to, you know, see the actions of this person um, before you can really believe them. You know what I mean? And I'm just seeing here with this pentacle, because see these three pentacles, I, I do feel like you want to collaborate with this person. I really, really do. I do feel genuinely you want to work things out with this person, but there is this one pentacle, 
pentacle here that is kind of just like shielding your heart. And I really do feel it's because you don't want to be walked all over. You don't want to be taken for granted this time or because you've been there and you've done that, right? So I just feel like you really need to feel like you can trust this person and that's just going to take time. This is Pentacles energy. So it's just all about, it's just going to take time. It's, it's a time thing for you. So that's where I'm going to leave the reading. I do hope that was helpful, Scorpio. Let me know which part of the reading best resonated for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.